guys, if you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins at some of the cheapest prices on the market, make sure you check out my new sponsor, utnfl.com, and use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 5% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video for you guys. Today what we're going to be doing is talking about the new movers cards that were added to the game. And you guys know me, I like to do things sometimes a little bit differently than other people do. I'm really into rankings lists and things like that. So that's like the fa my favorite type of content to read typically online and watch on YouTube videos and things like that. So what we're going to be doing today is counting down what are in my opinion the 10 best cards that they added into the game today as far as the NFL movers movers program goes. So uh, yeah, with that said, let's hop into it. We're going to start off at number 10. So starting off the list today at number 10, guys, we have a card that I don't think a lot of people are really giving the credit to that it deserves. It's DJ Swearinger, 92 overall. This guy's going to the Redskins. Now, I will say this card is not the best card in the game by any means, but I think it has some good attributes. Number one, it actually has some decent speed for a safety at a 91, 95 acceleration as well. The really nice pursuit there at a 94. He also has a 93 hit power in addition to having deep defender and big hitter chemistries. So those things are all very, very nice. His zone coverage, again, at an 88, not the best, but it's not terrible either. Uh, 5'10 is probably the biggest reason why this card isn't a little bit higher on this list. But other than that, I mean, as far as the players that came out today, I do think this is actually one of the best, even though it's actually going for a decent price. So that's the first one on the list today. <laughs> Up next, we have a wide receiver, and in this case, it is Pierre Wee oui, Wee oui, Garcon, 95 overall, guys. He is going to the 49ers. This guy is a decent wide receiver here. Very solid attributes pretty much across the board here. Uh, he does have the slot expert and the chain mover chemistries, 91 speed. 91 catching as well, elusiveness at an 88, 89 spectacular catch, so we're not hearing a lot of really high attributes here, but he does have one thing that is very, very nice, which is that catch in traffic at a 94, that is excellent, that is a really, really nice attribute, so we definitely like to see that, along with the 91 route running, I mean, this card is a 95 overall, so you can imagine that it's probably one of the better receivers that they currently have as far as decently priced ones, so I would say get this card on your squad. Next, we have a running back that is more of a receiver than he is a running back, to be completely honest here, and that is Danny Woodhead. He has the route runner and the slot expert chemistries, despite being, again, a running back. 92 speed, 95 agility, 96 acceleration, 92 carrying, great ball carrier vision at a 94, 94 elusiveness as well. The juke moves solid at a 91. The obvious thing that he is not great at is he's tiny. I mean, he's five foot eight with 65 trucking. So this is definitely a guy that you want to throw the ball to put even out there at wide receiver at times, and he's going to do a good job for you. So I would definitely say that this is an interesting card. And that's why I decided to put him as high up on this list as he is. <laughs> Up next, we have a linebacker and a guy who's been in the league for quite some time and is still an absolute beast. Carlos Dansby headed back to the Arizona Cardinals. This guy has some great attributes, man. 85 speed isn't the best for a user middle linebacker at this point in the game. It's still usable. It's not, like I said, it's not great. But the thing that this guy does have is some really nice attributes if you're not somebody who uses his middle linebacker. He has great awareness out of 95 Crazy hit power at a 92, 95 tackling, 93 pursuit, 95 play recognition, 89 zone coverage even. So this is definitely a guy that you do not have to use your control, and he is still going to do a great job for pretty much any defense. <laughs> Up next, we have our first cornerback on the list, and that is Logan Ryan. 
Five foot eleven only, so that's not spectacular, but it's it's not terrible. Ninety two speed, ninety four acceleration. The man coverage all the way up there at a ninety one. Great zone coverage at a ninety four. You guys know the zone coverage really means that their swat, their ability to swat away the deep ball for the most part. Uh, so it's not actually how well they play the zone. So keep that in mind. But he's got great agility at a ninety two. Ninety two press as well. Play recognition at a ninety two, and good catching at a seventy seven as well. There's another cornerback that we're gonna have higher up on. On this list that's very very similar to this so that's why I'm, uh, I'm I was a little confused on which one of these I should put in front of you one another but I do think this one is very solid overall and he does have the deep defender chemistry as well so I like it so the cornerback that I actually have ahead of Logan Ryan is indeed Micah Hyde now what's interesting about Micah Hyde is like I said about Logan Ryan those two cards are almost identical in a lot of attributes. Like, their man coverage and their zone coverage, their speed and their acceleration, their press, their play rec, their catching are all within, like, one or at the most two of one another. So these cards are very, 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 very close to one another. My opinion would be, honestly, get whatever one is cheaper at the time. I guess if I had to choose, I would go with Micah Hyde just because he has a little bit better attributes, just slightly better. And he's also an inch taller at six foot tall. But that's really the only reason that I like this card better. It does also have the pick chemistry, uh, picks, pick specialist chemistry, excuse me, and deep defender. So it's pretty balanced as well. Next on the list, we have one that I really like, and I think he's kind of going undervalued right now. That is Jabal Sheard. This card is going for not a lot of coins right now, and uh, 84 speed along with a 95 finesse move. You guys know the block shedding is kind of off the chains in this game. It's like out of control, and this guy has a 96 for block shedding. So he is definitely a guy that you can set on your defensive line and just standard pass rush with, and he will get after the quarterback. In addition to that 95 finesse, by the way, he also has an 85 power move. So he is going to be able to do a really, really nice job of getting after the quarterback. Like I said, I think this card's really getting overlooked right now, and I think this is actually probably one of the better pass rushers attribute-wise in the game. He doesn't have the high-end speed. He's only got 84, which is not spectacular. 89 acceleration is good, though. So I do think everybody should maybe give this card a try because I think it's going to be great, man. And finally, we are down to the heroes, guys. So this one here is Martellus Bennett, the tight end. This is probably the lowest of the three, in my opinion, but it's still really, really nice. 98 overall, guys. 86 speed. Really, really nice attributes overall. He is a great run blocker as well at an 87. So keep that in mind. He is a very, very balanced tight end, which is a great thing, of course. Great spectacular catch at a 93. Catch in traffic as well, which is extremely valuable, as we all know, for tight ends that go over the middle a lot he has a nice catch in traffic at a 91 as well 86 route running will make it so that he does get that separation from the defensive backs if he's against them some of the time and also guys just overall like I said his catching attributes in addition to the just standard catching at a 92 are all really really good this is a really really nice card in addition to it having times two Green Bay chemistry and chain mover chemistry <laughs> Down to the final two, and we have AJ Boye at number two. And this is definitely an upgrade from the other cornerbacks that we've already seen on this list. He pretty much has better attributes in just about everything than those guys. He is six foot tall, so he's on the taller side for a corner. 94 speed is really, really nice at this point for Madden. There aren't a lot of guys that are just going to straight outrun him. 97 acceleration as well is excellent along with the fact that he's got 96 agility 96 man coverage the 94 zone coverage 93 press play recognition is really good at a 93 as well his catching isn't the best at a 74 but it's certainly not bad either but overall this is definitely a very very nice card guys so I would certainly recommend if you can afford getting this cornerback he is probably one of the best cornerbacks in the game right now maybe aside from the, the 99 overall guys but certainly among the guys that are a little bit more affordable this is an excellent cornerback card guys so definitely go check this one out as well I think he's gonna go for a lot and last but not least we have the guy that I think pretty much everybody would agree is the best wide receiver that we've seen come out other than ultimate legends at this point 
And that, of course, is Deshaun Jackson, who is now headed to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Guys, this guy has the playmaker chemistry. So if you do make those playmaker moves with him with your quarterback, he gets a little bit of a speed burst, which is extremely important, obviously, in this year's game. He also has the deep threat chemistry. Very, very nice uh, chemistry is there for him. And also, guys, 96 speed. That is monstrous for a wide receiver. He also has crazy catching attributes. The 96 spectacular catch, that is going to be extremely difficult to defend, along with the 94 catching. 96 route running as well, which, by the way, that's a little crazy for Deshaun Jackson. Let's be real for a minute here. The only thing that I would say Deshaun Jackson lacks in is, as usual, his ability to go up and catch the deep ball as far as, like, the aggressive catch type of thing because he does only have a uh, 89 for jumping, and he is only 5'10". But, again, he does have the really ridiculous 96 spectacular catch attribute. So, in my opinion, that can make up for it. So, overall, guys, this is the best one of the bunch, in my opinion. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below what you think the best movers card is that they added for the first set of movers. Thanks again, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.